In this video, we're going to have a look at how to create this interactive search bar component in Figma. You can kind of see that it has a hover interaction as well as a press down interaction. And then you can close this component with, with this little icon on the right side and go back and forth. So that's what we're going to build today in this video. And I have two quick reminders. If you're a complete beginner with Figma, make sure to check out my Figma basic series. And two, if you'd like to get the source file for this, if you'd like to reuse this in your own project, check the link in the description. And now let's see how this is done in Figma. The very first thing we're going to do is select the ellipse tool and create a small ellipse. Remove the fill and add a stroke. That's gonna be two pixels wide. It's gonna be on the center and we're gonna make this smaller, about 18 pixels, let's say. And then we're gonna use the pen tool to create a simple line like this. Also two pixels and we're gonna make the endings around it, right? We're gonna rotate this one. Uh, make it seven pixels tall and center it against this circle and then move it so that it overlaps a little bit like this. Yeah, so that's our magnifying glass icon. That's our search icon. That's very simple. Uh, we're gonna take these two and then rotate them 45 degrees and group them. Um, we're gonna also select, because we have this empty space, we don't want that. I'm gonna select the ellipse and press Command E. That will flatten the selection, meaning it will just commit any changes, right? Cool, we have the search icon now. I'm gonna rename this and rename this group to search icon. Now, the next, th next thing we're gonna do is use the text tool and say search. The font is gonna be, I don't know, let's say Roboto. Any font basically will do, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna center these two. Um, maybe we're gonna use semi-bold, yeah. Um, and now, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select both of these, press Shift A to add auto layout, and then add some padding as well as some rounding and a background that's gonna be light gray. We're gonna name this frame, this auto layout search bar. We're gonna increase the size like this. All right, so we have two of the three elements we need. We have the magnifying glass icon, we have the search text. We have it contained in a container, but we also need an icon for like closing this search bar. So press command and select this tiny line and copy that over here. Um, duplicate that and rotate. So we have a tiny little cross like this. We're gonna turn off the rounded endings and go for about this size, I think. Yeah, then ellipse tool and just kind of move that against the cross symbol and center it. Yeah, and we're gonna have to update the size of the size of and the position of these lines because it's not centered. Now again, I'm gonna press command E and this is gonna say eight by eight, right? And also the X position is gonna be 13, 1371, right? Now it's seven pixels from all the edges. Duplicate and rotate. Cool. And we're gonna make this darker, all right? And these two lines white. We're gonna select this and then turn that into a component. We're gonna name this component close search bar, close search button, right? We're gonna add a variant. I'm just gonna move this. The property is gonna be called state and we're gonna have default and then pressed, right? And pressed one is gonna have a darker background, a bit more. Now we're gonna select this one, go to prototype and click and drag over here and say while pressing. Change to state press, smart animate. It's gonna be very quick, like 40 milliseconds. So that's our search button. We're gonna now use an instance of this, of this closed search button component and paste that inside this search bar. And what we're gonna do now is this search button is not gonna be, it's gonna have an absolute position. Uh, we need these auto layout elements to be aligned to the left, but we want just one of those to be aligned to the right. So I'm gonna click this icon right here, absolute position, and then center that 
move that to the right, maybe a few pixels like this, right? Means that now we, when we do this, these two auto layout elements are gonna stay on the left side and this one on the right side. Also, it's gonna have a fixed height search bar and that's gonna be 50 pixels, maybe 45, 44. Also, we're gonna make sure distances from the left side are a bit bigger, 12. Next thing we're gonna do is select both of these elements and we're gonna want to make the color of the cross to be similar to the color of the background. So essentially we have two options. We can essentially punch a hole through, through the background basically, uh, which could be achieved by selecting these two and then subtract selection. Yeah, I think second option is not that practical. So I'm just gonna use this one. So again, subtract selection, right? Now, now it's transparent and whatever background color is gonna be here, that's gonna affect this color of, um, of the cross. And also the col color of search icon is gonna be like gray. It's not gonna be really black. Same with the text, maybe even sample this color. Maybe we wanna make this one a bit smaller. So let's make this a bit smaller. 20 pixels, 20 pixels um, and adjust the position. Right now we can, we can actually turn this search bar into a component. So go here to create a component. Again, there's gonna be a variant, definitely. And the first variant is gonna be called, again, default. This one is gonna be called open. And the default one, Here's the thing, it's gonna be like 44 pixels wide, same uh, as the height, except the close icon is not gonna be visible. So it's gonna be zero and the text is not gonna be visible as well. So again, zero. So it's just gonna be, just gonna be this, right? And then we're gonna take this and create another variant. This variant is gonna be called press down and it's gonna do exactly what it says, so it's gonna be, it's gonna be a state where this component is being pressed down. So that's gonna be a bit darker again. Also, we're gonna create another variant and that's gonna be hover. So we're gonna have a hover interaction and a press down interaction. So it's gonna be a very interactive element, absolutely. The hover one is gonna have a lighter background. So when you hover over it, it's gonna lighten up, but when you press it down, it's gonna darken, if that makes sense. So here's the difference. And maybe the icon is gonna darken here. We accidentally selected search button. We don't want to do that. We want the search icon, right? Make this a bit darker. Same here, uh, search icon. Yeah, so this, this one is hover and this one is press down. And let's define the interaction. So prototype and click and track like this. And we're gonna say while hovering, change to property hover, smart animate, ease out 40 milliseconds. Uh, then we're gonna say again from here, we're gonna go while pressing. And then from here, so what happens when you click it? You press it down and then you, you release it and you go to the open state. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna say mouse up and that's gonna go here again, smart animate. Let's just quickly test what we built. And also, also very important, actually, I forgot about this, when we, we we can select this. We're gonna define an interaction where if you click the cross, it's gonna close. So we're gonna select this little icon and then click and drag it like this and say on click. And now we're gonna create a frame that's gonna be about this big. We're gonna name this test frame and we're gonna test our component search bar. Let's see what we created. That makes sense, right? So launch prototype. I'm gonna fill the screen with this. So it, this should have a, a hover interaction, right? So it has a hover interaction. Then when we press it down, mm -hmm, okay, first problem, it doesn't react to the hover interaction. How do we fix that? Instead of press down interaction going from this state, it's gonna have to go from this state, right? So that's gonna be while pressing, right? But going from this one. Let's reset the prototype and try again. Hover, press down. Excellent. And then we release the mouse. We have this new open state. Now we will click this. It's gonna again darken when we hold it press down. We release and it's gonna close. So we have this whole interaction where we hover, we click, we click and it's closed. But for some reason, the cross symbol is not showing up. So what's the, what's the issue here? What's the issue here? Let's try and relaunch the prototype. Fill screen, maybe Hmm, maybe the, this 
component is acting up, maybe it should somehow return back to its initial state when it's being released. I don't know. Let's try that. All right, so it's still not working. I'm probably gonna remove the while pressing interaction and just do while hovering instead. Maybe that will fix the problem. I don't know. All right, we're gonna have we're gonna have to remove all the interactions. So I'm just gonna um, gonna remove this interaction and this interaction, then remove this variant altogether. Maybe that will fix the problem. I don't know. Yeah. So for some reason, you cannot have. Um, in this case, we didn't manage to um, make this little cross interactive, but now it, it works as intended. You click it and then you can close it with the cross and then back and forth with this search bar. Maybe we're gonna make these interaction a bit, interactions a bit slower. So 100 milliseconds everywhere. Why don't we try that? That is nicer to interact with. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.